We play. We fight. We conquer. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue. Oh, we got to go in now. Uh, with my let's play of Battle Brothers Warriors of the North DLC, it is the Northarians about to go up against some more Gabos. And it's going to be a nasty battle. It's always it's always a nasty battle. But I'm looking forward to getting another one of those crossbows. Hopefully we do, and that will solve our, well, our crossbow issue. We've not acquired better crossbows yet, so this is going to be nice. You know we're going to get a whole bunch of arrows raining down on us. I think there's less enemy archers this time and more enemy frontliners, which is fine. It doesn't really change anything. I'm 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 totally okay with this. This is fine for me. All right. Um. Well, I mean, I don't much like our chances here, but yeah, I say. But you have the better chance. All right. Uh, you. Being as far as far away as we are with uh, it being nighttime, we're having a hard time seeing right now. Okay. So what does this do? Shoot heavy bolt. Huh. So 50 to 70 damage to hit, inflicts that damage to hit points, of which 0 to 49 can ignore armor. That's a weird range. And it inflicts 37 to 52 damage on armor. It has a range of 6 on even ground, more of shooting downhill. Oh, nice. And it has a 10% chance to hit and minus 3% per tile. Okay, tile of distance, and it has 10 bolts left. All right. Well, I think this guy is just dead. Boop. Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Oh, he's already moving up. He's like, yep, this is going to be a nasty fight, so I'm getting myself ready, because I know how this is going to go. We'll wait with those guys. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to wait with him. I don't really like moving him out first. I don't like moving, well, the bottom tier guys out first. And not bottom isn't like they suck, just like they're literally at the bottom of the of the human pile of peeps that we have there. Man, our first round hit ratio is abysmal, by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Like, it seems to be consistent amongst the Twitch streaming that I'm doing, my own solo play, and in this series. Our first... Oh my god, our first round hits suck. We just miss a lot. It's bad. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna aim high there. Well I mean not really aiming high. I mean, you know, we'll take a shot on you. Oh my goodness. We just obliterated that guy. He is no more existing. Uh, I think I'm gonna move up here. I think I'm gonna move you there. Um I'm going to hold this. I'm going to send you out this way, and I'm going to send you up this way. And we're just going to lob that out. Probably wasn't going to hit, but you never know. 75% we missed. Gosh. We're going to land the 61? Nope. Well, the skirmishers are starting to come out. Or the am no, the ambushers. These guys are the skirmishers. Okay, he separated himself. He's chucking some stuff out there. We're going to have arrows flying our way, probably. Yep. They're trying to get poison on him. Um, I feel like I'm going to get shot for this. Oh, he, he backed up. That's not what I was expecting, if I'm being completely honest. Like, no percent chance to hit anyone. We can move up one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up more than one. Alright, we got a hit on someone. We missed. And we missed again. Uh-oh. Alright, um... I just kind of want to remove him from the field. Oh, really tried to get that. 
it's, I'm like, yeah, I'm netted, but I'm still going to stab you once just because. All right, so he backed away because he done got kind of shot a little bit there. The only thing I'm really concerned about right now is getting hit by the crossbowmen on our, like, archer guys. Because that's still going to hurt us a lot. There we go. Eh. It's fine, it's fine. I hope we're okay to dodge his attack. We need to catch the other guy, though. What the, that was the weirdest combination of things I've ever seen. Amongst the weirdest combination of things I've ever seen. Probably not the weirdest, but definitely up there. Oh, please. Please land. Oh. Oh, that didn't feel good. That, gave, that got me a wound, didn't it? Yep, that injured my shoulder. He's not going to be doing much. Alright. However, that being said... Um... Oh, bar oh, still got it. Oh, and we caught him. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful. Can we stab him? Oh, yeah, we can. You know that we can stab him. Oh, and they're freaking out. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like that. Look at the little dude's like, I am on top of a mountain, and I will not be take. Wait, he didn't... Why, why doesn't he have his weapon? Like, I know I took it from him, but... He had his turn. He should have had it back. Does he have to, like, ready up his weapon or something? I'm... I'm kind of confused. Alright, I think our archers have done all that they really can do in this situation. So, let's really, really try to cement that this guy is not going to get away from us. Let's make that a reality if we can. Yeah, I'm gonna move there and I'm gonna make this my next move. Uh, I suppose I can shoot at him. Oh, I say I'm probably not gonna hit him, but I'll take a shot. Oh, he didn't wanna he didn't wanna keep fighting. He's like, you know what? It's fine. He's not getting away. I mean, if he does, I'm going to be in shock. Like, literally just, like, floored if he was able to get out of that. You should run. Alright. We're going to let this guy try to flee, and he's going to get killed, and then we're going to... That's going to be it. We're not going to chase the other guy down. <laughs> Dead. It's over. It's over. There it is. Alright. It's got another single level up this time. I'm not missing like two other hidden level ups. No, we're good. We got the other crossbow. Oh, this one's slightly better. No, I'm sorry. That's the, uh, that's the, sorry, that's the uh, durability. I thought it was 72 damage. I'm like, that's weird. That doesn't really track. But no, it doesn't because it's not accurate. All right. Well, we just got two pretty good upgrades, if not the best upgrades. I don't know. I still, I can't wait to see. How these stack up versus those other ones. Or if the differences are so minute that it's not going to make a difference. Difference. It's like a, more like a miniature ballista. It, it shoots a target with enough uh, force behind its stakes uh, that it actually knocks the target back. Or can knock the target back. That's legit. That is legit. Alright, John the Blue, level 13. I think you're our first level 13. Uh, we're going to keep going that route. Um, I'm going to get you a bit more morale, and yeah, I suppose we'll go the defensive route. It's fine. Now, I'm I'm still torn. Again, I don't know, and I'm always going to be playing around with this stuff, trying to figure out what I like best, what I feel works the best. I know there's going to be people who can go and spend hours upon hours upon hours of researching out every single little detail that's going to make the absolute best character, and that's cool. And I'm so glad that there's information out there for people who like to do that. And that there are people who like to do that because, you know, you can really maximize your efficiency. And, you know, those are the, the people that put the work in are the highly skilled players. Um, 
I put the work in in certain ways, but I generally like to have fun and kind of experiment and find my own ways of doing things. I, I know I've mentioned this before, but like I said, I'm not dissing anyone who wants to go full hardcore, know everything about the game before they start, have all the stats, have like an open spreadsheet and a wiki open on another screen or everything written down. That's cool. Like I'm, I'm happy that those people exist because if I ever am like, I wonder what I could do differently and I want to look up like a specific build like... A uh, sword fencer, for instance, like a fencing duelist or something. I could go and I'm sure I could find one of those, you know? So, like, I love the fact that there are people that are willing to do that and that like to do that and they enjoy it. I just, I know I also frustrate so many people because I have my own ways of doing things, which are probably not the best way of doing things. Just saying. Alright, commotion draws. Well, what are they doing? Yeah, go ahead. Well, this should be interesting. Uh, make sure to hit the apple. From that distance, Tex, Tex, Tex noses kind of nose kind of looks like the apple to me. He might have two noses now. Oh god, I hit a, I hit O. I don't want to look. Oh, that's bad. He's got a grazed eye socket, and and Kara didn't really do good there. Uh, sticking out of his head. Another brother lingers behind, quietly eating an apple in the wake of the chaos. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't go really super good for us. But I have seen stats actually get increased and, like, traits picked up and all sorts of stuff through those random events. So, if I can swing the random events, I, I definitely kind of want to. What was that undead group that left? Necro... Ooh... How strong are we right now? How strong are we? We're a bit messed up. We have a lot of wounds. How bad is a grazed eye socket? It doesn't sound like a good thing. Well, that doesn't hurt us actually at all. So he's fine. Um, Pierce chest. Pierce side. Fatigue. Kelchar can probably survive that. Shoulder's bad though. No, oh, actually it doesn't matter at all. Ronald's fine. He, he is literally just a kind of a support character or a crowd control. I, I don't know what to call it. The utility character, I think, is the, the phrasing I like to use. Now, this one's not great because this one lowers our skill. Kind of hoping that will heal. Uh, I say we, we go for it. Everybody has daggers, right? Let's double check, make sure I didn't like lose my mind at any point. I think I can use arrow keys to go through my people quicker than clicking. I can well, I can do that left and right. Apparently, I can't go up or down with it. Wait, if I just keep pressing right... Oh, it'll keep going. Oh, that's that's good. I like that. Does it do that with, like... Oh, it does it with W, A, S, and D as well? Oh, see, I just... I'm sure everybody in the world knew this. I did not know that you could do this. I, I, I think I accidentally hit an arrow key or something. I was testing something, and I'm like, Oh, hey, wait, I just switched brothers. So, yeah, W, A, S, and D... Well, it's just, it's just literally A and D, but... A and D will allow you to cycle through the characters so you don't have to like manually click everything. Oh, that's so nice. I love keyboard shortcuts. I know, guys and gals. I should be better than I am. I'm so sorry. Uh, but still, I'm learning some new stuff. All right, this is great. Uh, yeah, no, this is fine. This, this is good. Can you please stop running? I know I'm terrifying. And I know that I've... Oh, I hope it's a good one. Oh, I hope it's a dead sexy fallen hero that I can steal his equipment from. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he looks cool. Except he's got, like, a hatchet, which is just super lame. Um, uh, Full disclosure, I'm I'm going to... I If I don't get this, I will reload and I will get the armor. I'm just telling you now. If somehow it does not drop his helmet and his armor, assuming I do all my stuff right. If now, if I screw it up and I don't get it because I destroyed the armor, I'll accept it. But if I do everything right and it doesn't drop, I am going to save scum my way through this. I'm letting you guys know now, ahead of time. I treat 99% of this playthrough as a Iron Man type game, just with being able to create safe states in case I lose footage. You guys know the score. I've, I've said it many a time already. But... In this particular instance, I, I'm tired of being a slave to RNG all of the time. So, we're not going to do that this time around. Also, I think I'm going to step forward into them. 
I think I'm gonna go after them so I can kill the necromancer as soon as possible. Now, I'm gonna wait for my back line, but I'm just literally gonna go, like, full on, straight out for- There's a tree. There's a- It's, it's fine. It's fine. I- of, cor of course there's a tree. Why wouldn't there be a tree? He's hiding behind a tree. Like, do you know the how how hmm, a minuscule and small the odds are that there would be a tree there to stop me from being able to shoot him? I'm very unhappy right now. Ah, uh, look, they know. They immediately know. They're like, nope, we're not gonna let this go down. Uh, can I... Uh, should I shift that way? I'm debating whether I should shift down or up. Maybe we'll have super, super Secret Agent Expert go down. And the others will all go up. Can't shoot from there to get further. Again, it's, it's risky. It, it's definitely dangerous, but... I think it'll be fine. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I need this guy closer to him. The fact that he's so far forward is actually a problem. Alright, well, let's see how this plays. I could be worrying for nothing, by the way. Alright. I do need to get through these guys. I'm not close enough yet. Still don't have the right angle. I need I need to move up. I need to remo remove his weapon, so I'm gonna have to wait. Does he have the swap ability? I wonder. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. Oh, he doesn't. Dang. Uh huh. Oh, that was so close, and yeah, it didn't do it. Alright, uh, we need you gone. Which I'm gonna just lack a little bit in the damage department there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go this route. I think I'm gonna shield up, actually. Take him down. I mean, he's gonna be brought back, probably, but we'll see. Oh, this guy moved forward. That's interesting. I would have expected him to go down to try to cut off my my crossbowman. It's like they have their they have their bodies like blockading. This is interesting. I need to get up there desperately. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, are we, are we good? Can I Let's see? That was that was a good move. That was that was a good move. All right, fairly decent hit there. Um, take you down. Big old smackety poo up on you. Hit him so hard we knocked him back. I like it. A little worried about what could potentially happen here. Still trying to find my angle. There it is. And he is done, and I am going to start retreating back. Though I did a very bad job of doing that. Full disclosure. Oh, that was embarrassing. We missed a super high percent chance to hit right there. Was it you that you were shooting? I guess so. I need to get rid of this guy. I need to get rid of that guy. Like, we're doing real good right now. I could probably just... Yeah, okay. My guy probably could just step up at this point. Like, I'm probably fine. Is he gonna close with the archer? I'm a little worried that he will. 
Alright. Was... Still don't have the new mouse yet, guys and gals, I'm sorry. That was a that was a double click uh, problem there. I only single clicked, but my mouse is spasming and making me double click everything and I and I hate it. You know, every once in a while you're gonna get something that's defective out of the shop, right? I've had a dead on arrival hard drive uh, not hard drive. Motherboard, I've had a failed within a few months, maybe six months of having it, a video card that crashed and burned. Um, I had a computer that used to actually burn out video cards. Uh, it was made for me at one of the places I worked, and it was probably like a... I don't know how they had the deal worked out, but it was something that was probably worth like almost triple what I ended up paying for it, so it was pretty good, but it did not like video cards. It basically would eat them. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it, that's what it did. So, like, I've had defective things. And this mouse, while the other two mice that I've used from Rocket, the Cone XTDs, were great, they far exceeded their um, recommended or suggested lifespan, we'll say. Uh, there's just the last four, uh, five million clicks each. This, again, this is a model from probably close to seven, eight years ago. And they exceeded that by over double both times that I had them. So that's a really good thing, right? Well, this one, I've only been using it for like three or four months at the most. I want to say it was, it's been around maybe March. It might have even been... I think it was March. It was sometime in March, I think I switched over because I was starting to get the, ironically, double-click issue with the other... The other mouse that I was using, uh, my my other one, it was starting to get to the point where it was quote unquote dying. So we switched, and yeah, this one has just started within like the last month, month and a half now. At this point, it started to uh, you know double click all the time when I'm clicking. It's weird though because it's left click and right click and middle mouse button, so I don't know why it's doing that many different things. That's a little bit weird, because usually it's only one of those. I'm just going to drag it. I think we've established that last time, or I established that in stream. All right. He might hurt us. I mean, it's not like the most deadly of weapons, so I'm not that afraid. But it's still, it's, it, it's potentially dangerous, you know? This went so well. Like, I can't tell you guys how happy I am with how well this has gone. This battle went great. It went so good. Like, almost, almost picturesque, you know? It was like picture perfect, maneuvers, everything went the way it was supposed to go. Things are dying, we're not really having issues. I think I learned that I don't want to be within range of him in case we miss uh, a stun or... I'm not stunning him this time, but you know what I mean. In case I miss with whatever controlling factor. In this case, it's going to be the Whip Boy, but, you know. In case that doesn't go the way it's supposed to go. And again, the more surrounded he becomes, the better off we are at being able to hit him. I'm surprised we landed the 40 right there. Alright, 95%. Well, I guess you don't have a weapon. I must step up with you. Do I have enough to switch? I do not. It's fine. Okay, another little stab in there. Let's crush you. I'm going to wait here because I'm sure something's going to come back to life. He tried to bite us. There's the thing that came back to life. Can I hit that far away? No. That would have been great, though. It's fine. Alright. Yeah. Oops. Eh, we'll just kill it another way. There we go. That's better. Alright. Stab there. Follow up stab. Gonna step up just to get more surround on him. Make him feel a little bit worse about himself. We're gonna switch over to our knife and we'll get a stab on him too. Okay, another stab. We're gonna be getting tired though. Uh, 95%, give me your weapon. Another stab that missed, and we're getting tired. Like I said, we're getting real tired. 
All right, anybody else want to pop back up? Nah? All right, we'll skip you, we'll skip you, we'll skip you, we'll skip you. We'll switch over. Like two more stabs, I think, have this. Maybe three, maybe three more stabs. One, two, we, we did two already, sorry. Um, and this is the third? Nope, it's four stabs. And we hold your weapon again, just in case you get like crazy and you somehow go on a murder spree. Oh, he lives one more turn. One more turn. Anybody else gonna come to life? Nope. It's literally just us and him. And we are slowly murdering him. Slowly, there it is. Alright. I don't want to have to RNG this, guys and gals, but if I do not get what I'm look looking for, I'm not getting the armor and the helmet, uh, I'll be ending the episode and I'll be replaying this until I do claim it. I'll be I'll be a little bit a little bit obnoxious every once in a while, but I, I don't oft you know I make mistakes I usually own up to them right so like uh, I know in the Beasts and Exploration DLC uh, first time I came across Shrats I had no idea how to fight them and I almost got through it without losing anyone but realizing how to fight them and what I had to do like I learned in that fight that was the first time I ever ran into them I didn't read anything about them it's totally blind went in and fought them. I figured out how to beat him. I reloaded at that point. I refought it and I crushed it. Nobody really even got that hurt in the fight. So, like, there's there's some liberties I do get to take with the series. So just just be aware. We got the helmet. We didn't get the armor. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, let's see what the helmet is. Two forty. That's nice. It's not as dead sexy as the the two fifty five helmet, but it's it's pretty good. Anyway, I think, yeah, like I said, I'm, oh wait, no, we did get the armor. I'm sorry, I thought that was just a, a robe. Oh, we're, oh, we're perfect. Oh, this is great. Oh, good. I'm, uh, okay. Oh, pfft. well, I mean, I think we can probably get rid of the 1% bow and any shield at all, ever, because shields are like, real bad. I want the hat, too. I don't know why I'm not going to use it, but I want it. I want the hat. I picked another shield. I don't. I don't know what just happened. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's fine. I got the armor. I'm, I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna make sure I got the armor there and the helmets up here, right? So 240 helmet and 260 armor. Ah, <sighs> good. I don't have to reload it. Yay! I didn't really didn't want to, but like, like I can't abide putting that much effort in and just getting screwed by RNG. I mean, I, I've put up with stuff like that before. I've gotten to the point where I'm a little bit... I get a little bit too hot when it comes to RNG owning me. So sometimes I take some liberties. All right, we need to give this to somebody who can actually utilize this in a, in a good way. I think it's going to be... It's gonna have to be somebody who can actually move around. It might end up being Raphael Perry who uses this. Cause his uh I mean it's gonna kill him though. He's gonna be so weighed down. He's not even gonna be able to move. You're already pretty close. But you're you're barely able to move. Alright, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um yeah, we'll throw it up on the beardy boy himself. All right, let's let's go for it. Hold on, I want to double check, make sure. Two seventy, and it's got a plus forty on it, and that's thirty four. And then the decayed plate is two sixty. I'm sorry, forty two. But I could add a plus forty on it and bring that up to three hundred. He's already at fifty six. I might. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to take it on to him. Oh, he looks even cooler now, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to find more of these little uh, patch things. I'm going to put it on. I think I'll put it on his armor. I, I don't know what else is out there. I, well, I mean, I didn't know about these wolf pelt things. Uh, they're pretty sweet. I, I don't think they're specifically for this suit of armor, mind you, but I don't know. I don't know. But the fatigue is going to be tremendous. He's going to be real tired. 
But you know what? At some point, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna have enough money that we're gonna start getting like I don't know about hedge knights, but like hedge knights, sell swords, um, uh, sword masters, you know, things like that. We're gonna be getting these like really really high skilled people that are gonna be available to hire, and we'll actually have the money to hire them. And then what we have to do is go and get the fights and get them leveled up and and choose better skills than the ones that I've chosen for the people that I have. Like uh, looking at it and kind of going over stuff in my head and just kind of learning stuff. I think he's built pretty good. I, I don't think I messed this guy up too bad. In fact, I think he's okay, but his starting stats might not have been the best. And my leveling up and not getting more into fatigue might have been an issue. I don't know. I, I, I think he's still okay. I think Foster's set. I don't think we're going to have to switch him out. Maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, I feel like we could have gotten, instead of maybe Colossus is the only thing I'm thinking. Instead of getting that, maybe we should have gotten Killing Frenzy. That might have been the better call. And or even something like Indomitable. Reach advantage I think is necessary. Berserk is necessary. This, I don't know that it's necessary, but it seems like a good idea to have it. The underdog, considering that at some point I do plan to wade out into enemies and just do AoE stuff and murder fools. Now that's going to be hindered by the heavier and the heavier armor that I'm getting, you know, and picking up and whatnot, but... We'll see. Oh, well, this has been a very productive couple of episodes. We killed three of the four goblin things that we had to do. Uh, I found a random group that had a fallen hero that I'm able to gain new equipment for our boy and somebody else. Uh, we got two new super crossbows. I mean, it's been a real productive uh, couple of episodes. So that's cool. All right, so Raphael Perry, my friend. You are the one that is getting the upgrade. And you're going to get the dead sexy helmet. Now, the other helmet's better than this one, right? I'm pretty sure the one that we got on our boy. This is 255. And this one's 240. Yeah. Uh, 20 fatigue versus 22. That makes sense. Alright, and there you have it, my friend. Raphael Perry's looking... It's okay, I guess. I feel like this matches well. I feel like that matched well with this. This helmet. I feel like this helmet does not match as well. I feel like that helmet would be better on this suit of armor. I don't care that much, but just I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there, you know? I'm just throwing it out there. Alright, so who's going to get the other armor that we have left over now? Uh, 180. Is anybody needing that? We got a 230. No, that's obviously not you. We got a 250. Is that? Yeah, 250. Uh, you got a 210. 240. You literally had the the lowest armor that we had. That's that's interesting. I guess that means that this is garbage now. We don't need that anymore. And I think we've evolved beyond this. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. This is, this is good. I know, it just puts everything back. I'm, it's fine. I'm um, going to repair some stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll get through all the things that I'm going to like fix up and prepare to make some cash monies off of uh, before I depart here. Now, if you guys are getting... I don't know if the Goblin Skewers... No, they're not worth it. I thought they were the, the pole arms. So if you guys are getting these early on, they should be better than pitchforks and things of that nature. If you're going for a, and getting a jagged pike, if you manage to defeat a goblin that has one and grab one, it's not bad. It's not a bad pole arm. It's better than most of the early pole arms. And then when you get the next set, obviously the next set's all better than those are. But this is one where I think you can move twice and still attack with the uh, goblin version. So that's kind of cool. So like I said, there's some good stuff out there. Um, I think all of these are worth it. All of the Falchions are worth getting a little bit of love. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the shields. I'm not going to fix them. Okay, well that was a that was a pretty big step forward there. I'm, I'm happy with how that went. Uh, we got a long way to get back to town. I think I'm just going to run there as I do my outro. And hopefully everything's good. We got tons of money. We have a decent amount of tools, but we're going to burn through most of those. Um... Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, guys and gals. Are you excited for the 
return and proper return of Battle Brothers. Are you looking forward to seeing how far we can get? Um, is there any particular thing you're hoping that you get to see? Like I said, I don't know much about stuff beyond what you've seen me actually cover. Because I haven't spent a tremendous amount of time playing this on my own. I'm starting to do that now. I've actually played up to about about day 80. And I've been like super hyper aggressive on my own, just murdering stuff. And I'm not quite to this level with the gear and the levels and everything. But like a couple of people are level 9. And they have comparable gear. And I mean, maybe not as good as this, but pretty close. Uh, their weapons are a little bit worse here and there. Uh, it's a slightly different layout. I think I have three pikemen versus two, and like there's a few other little changes, but you know, it's it's cool. I like seeing it. Anyway, just, I want to know your thoughts, guys. I guess tell me what you what you think, and let me know if you've ever actually played Battle Brothers. I know a lot of people have watched a ton of Battle Brothers, but they have never actually pl played it. So that's always kind of surprising to me when when that happens. All right, let's actually get into the town. Okay, so this is where going to be where we break off the episode. Hopefully you guys are still having fun and enjoying it, and I'll see you guys next time with more Battle Brothers. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.